Leyland Binding is incredible because for as little as one mana, it exiles any non-land permanent at instant speed. A perfect addition to our five-color domain deck. But here's the dilemma. Leyland is really good in our deck, but it's also good in our opponent's decks. Domain dodges most removals because here Toto Kavu is a 5-5 five, five by turn 2, and Sion is a 4-4 four, four flyer by turn 2, and most removal cards can't touch them. But if our opponents have Leyland Binding, then they can really spank our creatures. And that's why we have Labia, Azorius Renegade. It stops our opponent from casting free stuff, but more importantly, Labia's first ability stops our Leyland Binding. The rest of the main deck is pretty self-explanatory. We have Cascade for value, a bunch of burn cards, including Boros Charm, which can give her stuff indestructible, including our ley lines. Now for the cyborg, Graveyard Hate, Targeting Hate, Artifact Enchantment Hate, More Labia, Weenie Hate, Storm Hate, and our companion, Juicy J, a perfect card to bring in against Blood Moon. That is the deck, now let's get to the gameplay. But first, today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is just like Magic the Gathering, except with more, you know, more of these. Raid Shadow Legends has it all. Dungeon runs, campaign battles, raid bosses, player versus player arena matches, and these again. There are over 500 champions with unique skills and hundreds of artifacts to equip them with. And Raid Shadow Legends is all about strategy. Why else would they have so many ways to customize your champions? Here's a list of my top three favorite characters with the best racks. First is Boober's Battle Sage. Next is Sloppy Sissia. And my favorite, Tasty Turvold. With moves this big, you know we must be packing a lot of power. Raid Shadow Legends is available for iOS, Android, and PC. Here is me giving my seal of approval. Raid is constantly adding new content to the game, including the brutal new dungeon, the Iron Twins Fortress. If you defeat the Iron Twins, you will be able to awaken your champions, enabling a powerful new blessing that can transform how they perform in battle. On top of that, there is a new favorite champion, the Ultimate Death Knight. Players can unlock him for free by playing Raid for 7 days between now and October 27th. But on top of that, you can use this promo code here to level up your strongest champion all the way to level 50 to get a huge head start in Raid Shadow Legends, all you have to do is hit the link in the description, or scan the QR code on screen, and you'll receive the new Epic Champion Tyrell, along with 200,000 silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 extra charge, so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All these rewards can be found right here. And now back to the video. Opening hand, no early creature. We have a lot of burn, so we'll keep. Oh, and a strong. This could be tricky. We'll pass for now. Oh boy. Burn for 4. And I'll drop Mantis Rider. Flunk for 3. I'll flunk us to land. I have 7 mana. Here comes the spanking. Lose Rider. Startless for us. Now, we could deal exactly 13 here by next turn. So we'll go for that. Five damage now. Our opponent makes us discard. They play a star. They dig. They dig for a land. Getting more mana. Oh, and then Cole also search for a land. Please, no life gain. They find a tower. We'll deal four. And four more. Hooray. I'm going game, so let's bring the lady in with house getting two. I'm putting hand a lot of lands. So we have bindings we're going to keep. A pawn plays sphere. Ew, and more lands for us. A pawn digs for a land. A chart looks less good. Playing for five. Oh, and there's Karn. Taking out our land. But luckily for us, I like Binding, taking out Karn. Oh, but they have another. Taking out our land. This is pretty racist, we'll pass back. And what, they try and exile our fetch land? We can just sacrifice it. Does that mean they have another one? No, but a worm coil. Blood Braid Mill for us. Now go Shartless. Finding Kavu, okay. I want to place a map. And they dig. Finding a land? Oh, well, we can't play anything. Pull we'll choose a chain hand and send it back. Oh, Ulamog. Yep, they have us. So we're going three. Opening hand, not the best. But a turn two, Labia will keep. Pulling this map. And now Labia time. And Kavu for us. Perfect. So we're two. Play Kavu. And pass back. Oh, Golos. Finding Blast Zone. Eventually that will be a problem. Put an Bolt. And Blood Red Mill. Finding Kavu, sure. So we're five. Oh, and they concede. Okay. They were no match for our Labia. So we're off to a good start. And now it's on the next match. Oh, my hand. Too many lands. So we'll have to mole. And this is a little bit better. Even though there's no light. But we'll keep. Oh, and it's hammer time. We'll keep a Bolt ready and pass. Along the Saga. And give her. Okay. Might as well Bolt give her. And another Kavu for us. Play it. And pass back. And the planes. Perfect. And just Rider. Ether brought for eight. Now they've at eleven. But here's where things get stinky. We'll get a hammer here. And please no land. No, we have a land. Oh, that's for something. Okay. And I swing for fourteen. If we don't block, we'll go to two. Which means we can't fetch. Which means no chartless. I suppose that's fine. We go to two. Oh, and tribal flames. I have no thick idea. We'll swing. Oh, and find a bolt. Oh, we'll chomps. Get a mountain. Tribal flames. And lightning bolt. Right in the butt cheeks. I'm going against those all this for all this and ask him to. Oh god, this is terrible. Oh mole. And yeah, that's fine. We'll keep. A haunted plus aid. Charles Frost. Just need to get to three mana here. Give her. In the land, perfect. As long as they don't kill us this turn. I may be looking dummy thick. Oh, haunted plus paladin. That makes things a little tricky. Oh, we should probably go for it. It is so goo. So no aid for them. But with all that card draw, they might be able to recover. Ginger root. And we take three. And I play a drum. Now the question is to go Shardless or Mantis Rider. If we take out their paladin here, then we're in pretty good shape. So we'll try and find removal. Now removal Kavu. Now lightning bolt. Will they protect it? No. Oh, what is this? Half, sir. Can 
Actually, it's root unblockable. So only one card in hand. Interesting. Oh, and for us. Now, how about Startless? Finding Kavu. And Mantis Rider. Oh, and there's a Concede. Which means your streak continues. And it's on to the next match. Opening hand has an okay curve. We're gonna keep. Another Bloodbird for us. And now it's likely a time. The opponent passes. This is definitely a creativity deck. But no light line bending for them. Play Startless. Finding Kavu and what? Mana Leak? Okay. Oh, and a Bolt. But do they have the combo here? Darn, they do. I'll do it. So we're holding him too. I'm holding him too. We're gonna for this and last game too. Opening hand, we have Leyline. So keep. So even if they play Archon, they can't make a second discard. But not Lavia. Opponent passes. Swing for two. We go Tribal Flames. On the counters. And then passes again. And Kavu for us, sure. Swing for two. Oh, Bolt. We'll play Kavu. Oh, one Aether Gust. We'll pass. They get a Dwarf. Now what? They go for it. Bolt. So no Archon for them. We play Kavu. And pass back. Ooh, opponent passes back. And they land binding nice. Swing. And Tribal Flames, okay. We'll Tribal Flames now. Oh, opponent counters. Another fetch here. And they go for it. They land binding and all oh, spell here. So I have to do things the hard way. Luckily, Leyland protects us, and no card draw for them. So I'm for us, and no pass back. If one passes, into the shirtless, they'd have a Kavu. Oh, we find another. Oh, a Nature's Claim. Taking out our Leyland. So they swing here, and they'll leave their cheeks wide open. Oh my gosh. I guess they really want that card draw. It must have been a really bad card they drew, because I didn't see. Opening hand, one land. But how can we say another Leyland? We'll keep and start praying. Oof, that's not a land. The home plus Ren. And land for daddy. That'll work. Shall we go travel flames? Or Kavu? Flames are probably safer. No pass back. One passes. And a land for us. The exact one we need. Well, the Kavu. And what? Lightning Bolt? No, holy heat. Okay. Oh, another run. Getting back to the land. Holding up Bolt's kind of stinky here. Because they make two dwarves. And target both. Playing our best shot at winning. Play Kavu. And Scion. But if they get two Archons here, they'll be hitting us for 12. Oh, and they have a Sage or a Ley Line. At least we get a land. But here comes another dwarf. And they creativity both. What one of them. That Archon's so brutal. Dumping our hand. Shirtless. But it's kind of Ley Line or nothing here. So we'll say a lock bar. Discarding and drawing. Oh my gosh! How did that even happen? The power of a lock bar. Oh my gosh, wait. I should have swung at Ren. Oh my gosh. Because now I'll get back to Seiju and take it out of Ley Line. Oh my gosh. To be fair, I have zero faith in us finding Ley Line. Well, I think we'll just move on to the next match and forget this ever happened. Opening hand. No turn two creature. The three shirtless will keep. Oh, and his ammo is heightened. And a four shirtless. But ammo is a pretty tough matchup for us. Especially when they're popping off like this. Oh, but they empty their hand. We'll pass. As is their opponent. Four is for four. No shirtless. Hunting Kavu. Okay. Oh, and they find and Dryad. Now their Valakas are in line. First swing. A bunch of and now Tribal Flames. And we'll pass back. Uh oh, another Dryad. We'll play Shirtless. Finding Lady, but oh, Summer's Pact. So close to locking it down. We'll swing. Finding Tribal Flames. Take out their Dryad. They do a Titan here. Luckily, they have to tap. I should have just one more turn here. Oh, and Bloodbird Milf. We'll go for it. Play Milf. Finding Kavu, sir. We'll go for it. Trying to find Bolt. That's not Bolt. They go to two. And they're going for it. Titan. They get Titan Haste. But then our opponent realizes how math works. So it's only going to two. Go Opening game two is bringing this first and asking me two. Opening hand is balls. We're in a mole. Oh, one land. But a pretty good one land hand. We'll risk it. I want my soccer. Oh, and the amulets. Too bad for them. They lose both. In the land. They have another. We'll play Kahu. And pass it back. I want my Zelda. And a tough decision here. So I'm gonna give trample. The Labia shuts off the summoner's pact. So Labia it is. We'll filter our hand. I want blocks and sacks. I want to make a construct. And finds amulets. And they pass. Sion. Even trample and hexproof. We shall swing. I want to spread their cheeks and takes it. Land and pass back. Oh, what a drag. And they swing. We'll take it. Our opponent passes. Force for us. But I say we go for it. We'll swing out. Jumping force. Finding binding. Picking out the dryad. They go to one. And tribal flames. What a symphony of cheek clapping. And now it's on the next pinking. Opening hands all right. We're gonna keep. And short was perfect. Oh, but all this red is making me nervous. We'll play Sion. And they stomp. And drop furry. Oh my. And they cast Bone Crusher. But now it's time. And they borrow Storm. Okay. The opponent digs. And it takes out our land. Sure. They fist us for four. And basic for us. They can't play Sion now. So play the milf. Finding cop. Ooh, perfect. We'll play it safe and hold back with everything. They play Power Answer. Oh, and Flame Slash. And it's back to us. Blood Crypt, okay. But now it is Milf time. We'll oh, find Tribal Flames. So we target Bone Crusher. We'll take two. So we'll target them instead. And then pass back. Long Blaze Ruins. Oh, and Shitter's Skull Smashing. We'll trade with Power Answer. But then we got a four. And another Milf for us. Those Zens are worrisome. Now with those Ruins, they finish this off pretty easily. But I think we gotta go with Milf. Finding Labia, okay. And pass back. Another Ruins. So we can deal two now. And two more on their turn. Jeez. Now with no blue for Shartless, our opponent has us. So we're going game two. Going into game two is prepare for Blood Moon. Bringing in all this for all this, and we'll ask him to. Opening hand's pretty good, we're gonna keep. Although we do have a lot of lands. 
Flood Rate of Hay. Put us on. And Ratchet Bomb. Oh, furry. And Charm for us. We'll pass. Oh, there's Magus. We can't even use Leyline on it. So we'll draw. Ew. Alright, we'll hope for our planes. We'll go to 16. On digs. And pass it back. Tribal planes. So only does one here. We'll pass. And hopeless Power Answer. And yep, looks like opponent has us. And now they definitely do. Very tragic. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. But at least we had a good run. So there we have it. I thought Leyline Binding was pretty good. And it feels like the deck is so close to being perfect. But sometimes the variants can be really stinky. But I had a lot of fun. And I hope you big boys did as well. And until next time, stay to me thick.